In this video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question, daily temperatures. Daily temperatures is a very popular stack based question. It's probably the most popular medium stack based question in all of leak code. And stacks are a simple concept to understand. And I'm sure at this point in your leak code journey, you have an idea of how stacks work, but let me just give you a five second explanation. A stack is a data structure where you can add things to the top and you have to take things off of the top. Pretty simple. But here's the thing. If you notice here, I'm just adding whatever I want to. I could add this. I could just add numbers if I want to. And there's no real restrictions on what I can add. There's no order. And that's not always what we want. Q monotonic stack. Now the word monotonic, I don't know why they named it monotonic. It's such a, I hate, and it's kind of mean to say it is kind of a stupid word, but a monotonic stack is literally just a stack that's in order. A monotonic increasing stack, the numbers start big and then they get small as they go towards the bottom. That's all. But we're going to be working with a monotonic decreasing stack. A monotonic decreasing stack is the same exact concept, but it's in reverse. We can add things, but the numbers have to go from small to large as we go towards the bottom. But here's a bigger question. How exactly does this even work? Is this like, is it's a logic built into the data structure? No, here's how it works. You create the logic. There's no actual monotonic data structure in Java. There may be a third party one, but there's not one built into the actual Java library. You have to create the logic on your own, which we're going to do. Now, if that's confusing, let's just go ahead and let's start talking about the actual question. So what's going to happen is Leetco is going to give you an array that looks like this. And this array represents temperatures. And let's just use a silly story. Let's say that we're going to the beach. When you go to the beach, you want warmer temperatures. And let's say that we're so concerned about finding the next warmer temperature and what day's warmer on this trip to the beach that we create our own data structure to house for each individual day the next warmer temperature because we're psychopaths like that. So the first day, the next warmer day is one day away. So we have a one here. Second element, the next warmer day is three days away. You get the picture. But here's the thing. If we want to do this with just a regular nested for loop, this would be incredibly easy. This question would be an easy, easy question if we could just get away with just a nested for loop because a nested for loop basically brute forces pairs. It goes through every single pair. If we go through every single pair, the only thing that we have to do is calculate if that pair is greater and then add it to the array that we're trying to create. But we can't do that. We have to do this in one pass. And how are we going to do that? If we're iterating through, how are we going to remember back the temperature so that we can find out if it's greater or not. Q the stack. A stack is a data structure that's great for remembering things way back, way back in the iteration. You see, if we just had to remember, let's say one day back, we could store that temperature or that index in an integer, but we have to remember way back and we have to remember in order. So we're going to need that monotonic stack to remember things way back and remember things way back in order because this is a sequence based question. So how exactly is this going to work? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our state. Now I just spent the last five minutes at least talking about stacks. So obviously we're going to new up a stack, but we're going to have to return all of these next warmer days in the form of an array. So we're also going to have to new up an array. And we're going to new up an array with the same number of elements that are within the array that is given to us. Next thing, this is a single 
pass algorithm. We're just going to do everything in one pass. So if the only thing that we need is this simple for loop. But here's the thing. Monotonic stack based algorithms can seem very complicated, but they're not. They're actually very simple because there's only two things that could possibly happen in this algorithm. It's very simple. Either the day is warmer or it's not warmer. Either it's what you want or it's not what you want. And if you can kind of just look at the algorithm and decipher what you want from what you don't want, it's a very easy algorithm to make sense of. So if the day is warmer, it's what we want. It's a check mark. What we're going to do is we're going to pop it off the stack, process it, count the number of days between the warmer day that we're currently at and the last warmer days, add it to the array. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But if the day is not warmer, it's not what we want. And the only thing that we're going to do is we're going to place it on the stack. So first element does it really have any warmer day? Because obviously it's the first element. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're just going to add it to the stack. Technically it's not what we want and it's not what we want because there's no other warmer day to compare it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to add it to the stack. Now, when we add it to the stack, we're actually just going to add the index, just the zero by itself. But in this case, just to make things a little bit more clear, I'm also going to add the temperature with it as well. So the next thing, we're done here. We've already figured out that this 30 is not what we want and added it to the stack. Next thing that we're gonna do, we're going to iterate. We now have what we want. We have an actual warmer day. So what we're gonna do is check mark. We're going to process it as what we want. So. What we're going to do is we're going to subtract the index from the current element from the last element in the stack, just like this. And when we subtract one minus zero, what we're going to get is we're going to get one day. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why don't we just subtract 40 from 30? You could actually do that if you wanted to, but that's going to give you the temperature and leak code wants the days. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, add that one to our result. That's the first day. That's the first answer that we have. So we've already popped the 30 off the stack, but regardless if it's what we want or if it's not what we want, we're always going to add it to the stack. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next element. This is not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to add it to the stack. I'm just going to duplicate this right here. I'm going to say 10 and I'm going to add its index, which in this case is two. So we go ahead, we move on. So here's the thing. This is actually a greater temperature for this element, but it's not a greater temperature for 40. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the greater element for this index right here. But how exactly is that going to work? If you remember back to what I said, stacks are really good for going back in time. So when we pop something off the stack, that's essentially what we're doing. We're going back in time. We're comparing that element back in time to the current element that we're at. And what we're going to say is, 20, which has an index of three minus 10, which has an index of two, which gives us one. And we're going to place that index that we calculate, the subtraction of the index, which is one at this day right here. Because when we go back in time, when we pop it off the stack, that's the day that we're calculating. And that's what allows us to kind of go back in time and calculate things in one pass. And as usual, we are done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, get rid of that 10, and we're going to place this element on the stack because regardless of what we do, we're always placing an element on the stack. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to iterate to 60. So 60 is indeed a warmer day. It's the warmest day out of all of the elements. So what we're going to do, you guessed it, we're processing. So 60 has an index of four, four minus three is going to give us one day. And we're processing it for the day at the 
third index. So we're going to go ahead, place a one right here. But here's the thing. 60 is a really warm day. And if we look on our stack, we still have elements in the stack where the current day is warmer. There's still, there's still days to be processed. So what are we going to do? We're going to keep processing. We're in a while loop. This is actually a while loop. We're going to keep processing. Four minus one is equal to three. And we're processing at the one index, which is the second day here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, place a three there. You could add that element to the stack, I guess, but there's no remaining days. So we're out of days to iterate. And the last day, there's nothing warmer than. So we're done here. So let's go ahead, let's hop into IntelliJ and let's code this algorithm. So we are inside of IntelliJ and first thing that I'm gonna do is create a brand new job class. I call this solution. Within the solution class, we're going to house our algorithm and this algorithm, you guessed it, is going to be returning an integer array. We'll call it daily temperatures. The temperatures that we're going to be receiving are going to be in the form of an integer array. And what we'll do first is I'm going to abstract out the n. We're gonna be using the n a few times here. So let's just go ahead, abstract that out and toss the n inside of our array initialization. Then what we're gonna do, go ahead, create our stack. Within our stack, we're going to have our integers. You could make this a deck if you wanted to. Um, some people are really big fans of naming this, you know, a deck like this but I'm just going to call it a stack to be very explicit. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna create the average run of the mill for loop. Nothing special, literally just your average, just for loop. Then what we're gonna do is within that for loop, this is what we're going to, this is where we're going to have our split. This is where we're going to have our binary representation as I call it. Either it's what we want or it's not what we want. And within the while loop, it's what we want. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna double check my logic here. We're going to make sure that the temperatures in the array are greater than the elements that are within the stack. And what we're going to do in order to get the element from the stack, what we're going to do is we're going to use stack.peak. And we'll just go ahead, toss that in there so we can just kind of put, put all of the logic within the actual while loop uh, expression. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create our stack.pop index. This is a pretty run of the mill pattern. Whenever you're working with stacks, you abstract out the index just like that and you put it inside of a variable so that you don't have to keep using stack.pop all the time. So if it is what we want, what we're going to do is we're going to process it. And what we're going to do is if it's the element that we want, if it's a greater temperature, we're going to go ahead, place it within the array that we're trying to return. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the days. Remember, we're not calculating the temperature. We don't want the temperature. So we're going to say I minus index, and that's going to give us the distance in the form of an index, which is a representation of the days. But you could put the temperature in there, but that's not what leak code wants. So the while loop is what we want, but if it's not what we want, if the stack is empty or if the temperature in the array is less than the current index or the index that we're trying to grab into the temperature, what we're going to do is we're just gonna place it directly on the stack. So we're going to say stack.push. And finally, we're going to return the result. See, not that complicated. So let's go ahead, grab all this code right here going to get out of full screen here and we're going to toss this into lead code see what we get i'm going to bring this over and we're going to go ahead toss that into here and let's run it run our test see what we get thank you god everything passed i didn't run it i just hit the submit button but it worked so whatever i guess it's, it's working and our time complexity is n and our space complexity is N as well too. Congratulations, you passed the interview. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching.